Hello and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. So I have a suggestion you're asking. Collide a white dwarf with a neutron star. Which is interesting because I've not done this before. I've done a neutron star versus a black hole. I've done a pulsar versus Earth. Pulsar versus a red giant. I've never actually done a pulsar versus a white dwarf before. Now if I'm correct, we should have a white dwarf somewhere around here. Ah, here it is. We got Sirius B, a white dwarf. So we'll place this as a still object right here. And let's zoom into it. Now, compared to a neutron star, which I'll place right beside it, it's considerably bigger. In fact, it's a lot bigger. This neutron star is tiny. Very, very tiny. But compared to Earth, which I think is bigger than both of these. So this is a star compressed down to basically the size of Earth. A star that's lost its outer shell. This is one that was incredibly massive and collapsed into something that's essentially a failed black hole. So, very interesting. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we go ahead and throw a pulsar at Sirius B here. So, which one should we throw? I want to throw the one with the lowest mass. Which is probably going to be this one right here. So let's go ahead and launch it. If we go ahead and just fly away, you'll see that that is incredibly small. Pulsar is about the size of... Well, the common comparison is a mountain on Earth. While a white dwarf is about the size of Earth. So let's go ahead and slow down time a little bit, because this is probably going to happen very quickly. And there we go, supernova. Well, that was about as kind of predicted. I mean, star and star collisions typically result in supernovas in this game. There we go, I had to select an object so I could zoom out quickly. Kind of a green and pink supernova this time. And the supernova class is type 1A, it looks like. Let's go ahead and reload this simulation real quick. Now the next thing I'm kind of wondering is if we make a binary orbit, is it going to shred the white dwarf apart? So let's go ahead and find out. This time I'm going to use one of the largest mast. This one that's equivalent to two suns. And then we have Sirius B here, which is about the equivalent of the mass of the sun. So let's go ahead and slow down time here. Because again, I think this is going to happen very, very quickly. So let's go ahead and binary these two. And let's speed up time a little bit, and let's see if this white dwarf gets shredded apart. They might be orbiting far away, far enough away from each other. No? That pulsar just grew. Oh yeah, there's particles coming off of the uh, white dwarf there, but they're not visible in the game. Interesting. Let's go ahead and get this off the screen. So this white dwarf here is losing mass slowly. And some of it even collided with the pulsar, giving it a kind of less dense outer shell. Interesting. Fair, I think it's gained about a Jupiter's worth of mass. As this one has lost about five Jupiters of mass just in particles, so... The particles that it's shooting out are basically like gas giants. You can see the collision markings on there. Interesting. Let's go ahead and speed up time and see if this just destabilizes. Oh yeah, that pulsar is growing and eventually it's going to collide. And there it goes. <laughs> Anyways, that was a fun little experiment. If you guys liked the video, please subscribe and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.